doon. You have to overcome it. Amen? Amen. Kahit na simpleng discouragement lang. Hindi ka aapoy. Kung yung si maliit na yan, hindi mo you overcome. You have to overcome in order to be on fire. Maliit at malaking excuse yan. You have to overcome it. You have to beat it. Not that situation beating you. See? Amen. Amen. Bakit? Because everything come and go. Come and go. But the important thing remains. Amen. And that is yung devotion, yung relationship Amen. natin sa Panginoon. Lahat yan, kayamanan, mawawala yan. They will just come and go. Yes. Yung mga kaibigan na yan, they will just come and, and go. Amen. But what will remain is your relationship, your fire to the Lord. Amen. Ministry, good ministry will come and go. But what stands still forever is our relationship, personal relationship sa Pakinoon. Kagaya ni Martha and ni Mary, di ba? Remember Mary and Martha? Martha is very busy, which is good. Hindi sinabi ng Panginoon na mas masama na maging busy ka, na gumawa ka ng kabutihan para sa Panginoon. That is good. But what good, what is better is yung ginawa ni Mary. He choose to stay in the presence of God. Amen. Because ministry can steal our fire. Amen. Ministry can kill our fire. Si Vashti, ang alam si Vashti doon sa Esther, if you read the book of Esther, Vashti, she's the queen. At tinatawag siya ng hari. And the king called her at gustong kausapin ng hari, gustong ipakita ng hari na, oh, ito, this is the queen of this palace. But Vashti is very busy. Kasi may ministry siya, may women's ministry siya. She is busy preparing a banquet for the women's. Kaya nung tinawag siya ng hari, ay hindi, busy ako. When God is calling you, when God is speaking to you, Lord, aramid, ipanpas ko ba yung ito? Di ba alit, di ba kayo dahil dayawang dahil dahil aramid? That is good. But what is better is having an intimacy sa kanya. Amen. Amen. This is what God wants to build up in us. Yung awareness natin sa Panginoon. Siyang lagtan, paspasigid ang lagtan ng kanayo na. Sometimes, ganun yung mga rason natin. But, but until you beat that excuses, you cannot be on fire. Yes. It is not enough yung linggo na dito. Because after after church, baka maapoyan kang apoy, so malit up yung apoy mo, but if you will not maintain it, bumakaw na ita. Si Esther, Remember Esther? Ang ginawa niya, wala siyang ministry. Pero ang ginawa niya, she prepared a banquet to the king. See? Hindi siya in-invite ng king. Hindi siya tinawag ng hari. But she went. Doon, sumilip siya. Then nung nakita ng hari, tinawag siya. You see? And doon, Esther saved her nation. The nation Israel. Because of her intimacy with the king. And here comes Vashti who neglected yung intimacy niya sa hari. She lost. Nawala yung corona niya. Corona. Corona. <laughs> corona niya as a queen. We will be something. Ang dami nating mamimis, mga kapatid. If God is calling you, if God is telling you something to do, and you neglect it, you reject it, you will miss something. That's why it's time, mga kapatid, 
Amen? Tama na yung apro approves. <laughs> Tama na yung, oh, Baby. sister. Sister. <laughs> passivity, yung inactiveness natin, yung mga excuses natin. Active na active na tila duma dito, yung very active yung mga iba, tapos tayo ay wala lang. Bahala kayo dito, importante, nag-gimunga. Yo, yo, pasyay. Umaalam yung mga pagpupuro ng iba, eh tayo. You see, that is passivity, yung wala kang paki. Bahala kayo dyan. Yung walang excitement. You are magnifying kung ano yung nararamdaman mo. Buhay ko to. <laughs> okay, next. That's it. Amen? In order for us to be on fire, we have to overcome excuses. Amen. Yes, masakit yan. Ano man ang situation na you are going through, maybe you lost a loved one. Sister Baila. You lost a loved one. But you have to beat that excuse. We understand. It is painful. But you have to beat that excuse to be on fire. Amen? Agaya ni David. Diba si David? Habang may sakit yung anak niya, nagfast siya. Nagfast. Hindi siya kumain. Aday dyan yung akakararag isuna. Pero nung namatay, anong ginawa niya? Bumangon siya, naligo siya, inikat na barbas na, and then she keep on sa buhay na at nagtaka yung mga anak, na ito yun nga, tapos nga natayan. Kumain siya, he strengthened himself. Why? That is not your destiny. May room na naghihintay para sa'yo. Amen? You are just there. In pan nakatibag yun ay in pan nakatistorm ay jay. But that is not your destiny. You have to beat that and keep going, pursuing the destiny that God has intended. Be on fire. Tapikin mo yung kaabay mo. Be on fire. Live a life of fire. For the Lord. Hindi sa ibang apag. Hindi ko umaapay sa Panginoon. Umaapay ka sa ibang bagay. Yan lang yan. Yes. If you are not burning for the Lord, you are burning for something. Hello, pernah mandi je kabai mu. Hello, hi. Pasagi dan tayo sudah. Praise God. Pengalaman, apa yang nak kita nanti doon? Doon sa verse. Doon sa verse. Verse two. And the natives showed us unusual kindness. Yung ang yung inembrace ng mga natives sila, inembrace ng mga tao sila, and yun naghanda sila ng apoy para sila ay to make themselves warm. See? And then what will happen to us? Maybe a service, okay? Maybe a preacher, man of God will start a fire in you. Maybe, si Marieta, yan, si, hawan kami na di anak na eh. Maybe, kung sino yung nag-akay sa'yo, kung sino ang nag-share ng word of God sa'yo, she is the one or he is the one who started the fire. But what keeps the fire burning is you. Yun yung ginawa ni Paul. The natives started the fire, but what keeps the fire burning is the sticks. Paul gathered the sticks, and he keeps on putting on that fire. Someone will start a fire in you, but what keeps the fire burning is you yourselves. You have to put sticks 
on the fire para hindi mamatay. Na dili karaangan da ka, in, 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 encourage da ka, kayo umapoy ka. Pero kung hindi mo yun i-maintain, gumaaw yung apoy na yan. Mama, balik ka na naman, sis, ipray mo nga ako. You see, that is not the kind of fire. Abang ka nga makitagdadan nga ka na yun. Nung ay natay, DJ. Mga papoy ka niya. Kawanin. Praise God. Amen. That's why it's time for us to build our own fire, kapatid. Build your own fire. Pursue the Lord. Pursue your intimacy to the Lord. And what are those sticks na kailangan natin ilagay doon sa apoy to keep on burning? First is the Bible. Isu nga isu. But until we do it, we will not experience the power of it. Amen? Alam nyo si Maria Tan noon. Si Kahan, si Kata, si Galap Tan. Nung nandun kami sa sa Agape Church, Kasi ngayon, kasla ka niya yung ubi. Sumangpot, parang, parang, nene-nene siya, wala siya, hindi, ano ba naman niya ang ginagawa, ano naman niya, sinasabi niyo, we are, we are sharing, may Bible study kami, tapos nandun siya, namimili supo, yung, again ko, question, ay ano ba yun, yung very, very, ano siya. Yung hindi niya naiintindihan yung ano, yung ano lang siya, na para na, wala siyang, wala siyang nakaka-catch up. Bobo. Hindi. Hindi na naiintindihan. Yung, yung about the Lord. Sakit na na. Kasi, yung iba, ang ganda-ganda, na, 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 lilit up sila, na, ang ganda-ganda ng, ano namin, sharing namin. Tapos, may mga iba na, alam mo na, na, tinitisting ka lang. Gugul, gulgul, nang gulgulo iso na. War, war, on na, DJ. Just distract na. DJ, run away than me. But when she came to seek the Lord, when she decided to seek the Lord and open her Bible, Amen. You see the difference? Amen. Congratulations. Amen. She can just go and share the gospel outside. Hindi na kayo na, noon, ah, di. Kaya na mag-pray. Itaangad ng tutay, karalagak ni Jaya, evangelizing na. But now, you see? Yes. So na ba yung tingang guyot? Amen. Because there is something that was lit up to her. The fire, the passion. Sa una, hindi mo maintindihan talaga. Sino na kasubo? Yung magbasa ng Bible. Lagi tayo ube. Sinubukan nyo, di ba? Tapos, anong anong naramdaman nyo? May tulog. Inaantok. Sleeping pills, tira duma. Basbasa kayo, tapos kanyo maawatan, at suya-suyahap kayo. Ganun, di ba yun? But, stand still, keep on. At hindi mo, hindi mo mamamalayan, there is something na nalilit of dyan. There is something na na-build dyan. Amen. 